What's going on, guys? Drones and dogs here. And, uh, ba bam, we finna get into this little indoor flight with ba 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 Flying Man. This is the little flying superhero drone guy with his little jumpsuit on and his little jetpack on his back. Uh, I did the unboxing on this guy about three days ago. Showed you everything that came in the box. This is a uh, real cool little mini drone made for kids. Comes with this little included transmitter. Has a little jetpack on the back with the little guy attached to the jetpack. And uh, essentially the jetpack is the drone. Now you can take the guy off if you want to and fly with just the jetpack itself. But it's a little bit odd when you try to do that because the guy, the guy gives this guy enough clearance to be able to be off the ground. Because uh, as you notice, this guy has props or motors or props on the top and underneath this guy. So these motors underneath have has to have enough clearance to be able to take off when uh, getting from uh, off the ground. And the guy gives this enough clearance to be able to take off. But I think this looks pretty cool, especially for kids. Or even it's just something that you just want to have to just pop out real quick and uh, impress your friends and have a different type of drone. I ain't got nothing like this in my collection. I think it's pretty slick. The Flying Man, the Tom Zahn. I think it's the U48-B. I'm not sure. I have to check the model number, but this is the, the Flying Man, the Flying Superhero Guy. And also, shout out to the subscribers out there. We have 432. Everybody that's rocking with us, 432. That number is getting up. Appreciate you guys for pushing that number up. Can't thank you guys enough. Shout out to all the subscribers out there rocking with your boy, Drones and Dogs. Salute to y'all for rocking with me. But uh, we finna get into this indoor indoor flight. We're flying, man. And uh, notice this little match, a little jumpsuit he got on. Looking all sleek with a little helmet on. Ready to take off, take flight. So here, I don't know if you guys can see, is the on and off switch and right above the on and off switch is the charging port and it's just a little micro usb so you can basically use an android charger but they do give you a little micro usb cord that you can uh, use with this guy and you can just plug it up into a wall charger preferably that charges faster or you can charge it on your laptop or a power box but uh pretty simple man a little cool looking guy we're gonna get into this little indoor flight with it so i'm gonna turn it on has a little blinking light. Bring me back. Turn on the transmitter. Up, down, on the transmitter. See the little LED on the transmitter stops blinking. Then we're gonna hit this button to go up. It's an automatic takeoff button. Uh, now I think by default, you start off in the second rate. It has three rates. By default, you start off in the second rate. So this is the medium rate. Okay. Now to access our rates, we have like two little bumper buttons on the right shoulder. The outer bumper button is your rate. Now we're in the highest rate. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe <me> crash. <laughs> crash. Try to take off again. I was trying to hit my rate button and I crashed. So let's see what rate I'm in. All right, so this is the low rate. The lower rate anyways. Yeah, the low rate, this is low rate. So there's not too much pitch and low rate. As you can see, I feel like it wants to keep climbing on me a little bit. I have to keep giving it down throttle to keep it from climbing up. Let me go down. That's what I do. But yeah, keep wanting to climb on me. So this is low rate anyhow. There's our yard in low rate. Not much yard at all. Very slow. Very slow yard. I'm going to hit this. This right outer shoulder button, two beats. This is our middle rate or medium rate. As you can see, it has a little bit more pitch, it's a little faster. Yaw rate increases. Look at that, that's our yaw rate. 
There is no flip with this guy, but it has two demo buttons. And that's on the left, the left shoulder button. Demo button one and demo button two. We'll demonstrate that really quickly. Keep on the climb. This is demo one. And it does like a little cyclone. So that's demo one. We'll bring it over here. Keep on the climb. Let's try demo button two. And it basically just flies, basically just flies the guy out, guy out forward, turns him around, and flies him back, then spins him around again. That's that's all the basic demo two does. I'll hit it again. <laughs> Hitting the wall. How we emergency stop? Oh, I can't stop the motor. There we go, it stopped. <laughs> flying guy got stuck between the couch. Flying man got stuck. We'll go ahead and take off again. So we should still be in the second rate anyhow. So that's enough with the demo. The demo got me stuck between the couch. Let's see if we can get into that third rate. All right, this is the third rate, the highest rate. There's our full yard rate and the high rate. Faster, y'all. As you can see, he's spinning around in circles a lot faster. He definitely, he definitely is a lot more speedier inside than he is outdoors. When I was outside with him, you check out my outdoor flight with him. The wind was pushing him around a lot more. He seemed like he wants to keep climbing. You know what? I'm gonna break him down for a land and see if I can calibrate him. So I hit the automatic land button. This is automatic takeoff, automatic land. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can calibrate them by holding this right stick down and to the right. I should calibrate it, but at least that's what the manual said. But it's not calibrating them now. Anyway, we'll take back off. I thought that would calibrate them, but it didn't. So we're still in the third rate. Flying around and flying, man. We're just gonna fly him around until he he dies. So he drops out the sky. Pretty speedy indoors in his third rate. Jump down to the second rate. I think with the space that I have, the second rate is a lot more manageable right now. But yeah, not too much more to say about it. This is flying, man. I think it was like like 20 bucks, man, on Amazon, which is not a bad price. For a real cool looking drone, as you can see. Flies well, crashes well. We just had a little battle test with it with the couch. And it was stuck between there. It seems to be flying okay now seem to stop climbing on me too as much as it was. It was climbing on me a lot in the beginning, but it seems to have settled down a lot more after being in the air a minute now. Flying man. I didn't read the box of what the flight time they said was on this guy. I think when I was outside the other day with it, and that's being outside fighting the wind, I think I got about five minutes out of it. That's just a guess. Come on in for a close look, flying man. Flying dude. Check him out. There's a close look at him with his little jumpsuit. Flying through the air. Ready to come rescue today. There we go, he's losing the altitude now. Now he's dropping on his own. Yep, little light is flashing. 
So that's our flight time, man. Here's the indoor flight with flying, man. As you can see, flies pretty well, crashes pretty well. So we have a little bit of durability test going on, a little bit of indoor flight test going on. This is uh, the time zone, I would say U48-B, the flying man, flying superhero drone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get that number up over there. Appreciate you guys who are already subscribed and who have been liking and supporting my videos. Appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm your boy, Drones and Dogs. I'm out.